and good afternoon to you. This is the first indictment in the Volkswagen emissions scandal, and the man charged just walked out of court. Take a look. His name, James Liang, a 62-year-old Volkswagen engineer, pleaded guilty to conspiracy to defraud the U.S. government and violation of the Clean Air Act. He's accused of engineering a defeat device which manipulated diesel emissions data to make vehicles appear more environmentally friendly to U.S. regulators. That device was made in Germany nearly 10 years ago, but he came to Michigan, Ann Arbor to be exact, to make sure EPA tests here didn't detect the device. The cars were programmed to turn on emission controls during lab tests and turn them off while on the road. More than half a million cars are fitted with a faulty device. Mr. Liang came to Detroit today to accept responsibility for his actions. He's one of many people at Volkswagen who got caught up in this emissions scandal, and he's very remorseful for what occurred. Now, Liang is cooperating with prosecutors, which could reduce his sentence to as little as five years. He could also snitch on other people, so there could be more charges in this case as all of this goes on. More people uh, could be involved, I'm told, overseas and here in the U.S. We will keep you posted and have much more for you on later editions of Action News. For now, we're live downtown. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. Back to yeah, you, Joanne. Yeah, Jonathan, you would have to think that with uh, this big of a scandal that there'd have to be many people involved. Before you go, besides these criminal charges, the company's also paying a really big financial price for all of this, right? Yeah, billions and billions of dollars in uh, settlements and also going to dealers that have those faulty cars on their lots and also owners that may be with those cars, but it only affects diesel Volkswagens. Those are the only vehicles and owners uh, and folks that are eligible for compensation as a result of this. All right, Jonathan, thank you so much.